Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name is Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, we're gonna do our daily uranium technical analysis update. Uh, just looking at some of the charts, uh, I still think we're in a consolidation period. And what a consolidation period is, is you run up a ton and then it pulls back and consolidates for a little bit. And I still think we're in that consolidation period. I, I, I don't see any, we have no structure that we're jumping off of yet. Uh, we are kind of back testing on some of these to a support line. And that's where I think we are going to find our support to jump higher again. So uh, we went from a, a pretty good bottom. We broke through uh, the resistance level, which then becomes support. We broke through it and it comes back and, and hits that support level. It bases a little bit and consolidates and then we move on higher again. That's my guess of what we're going to do. I still think we have more consolidating or more retesting to do before that move goes up uh, in the majority of the companies now maybe not all of them but in the majority let's jump in i'll give you my financial opinion and i'll show you what i'm seeing so this is uranium uh this is the uranium physical price we were up 5.11 percent today uh we kind of came back and we're, we're heading a little bit higher and i, I don't know if we're going to base base out a little bit or if we're just going to roll higher here uh, remember it all depends on what the sprout fund is doing it is synthetic synthetic being financial driven now here's urnm uh we're, we're coming in and we were, we're finding some good support at about 75 bucks uh you can see that we're we're kind of bouncing i think we got a little more bouncing to go uh before we had higher uh we've got good support at about 71 dollars underneath it uh, and that's where we're at. Is this going to go higher or lower? I. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell what it is it's going to do on the short term. But I usually see like like a like a triple bounce. Like we might see a small little bounce next to it before going on up. Uh, CCJ's, you know, it's doing the bounce as well, but it's around support in this area of twenty dollars. So I, let, let's see if it holds. Uh, I'm going to, you know, reserve my judgment. This thing still has a lot of momentum to the downside. It's still selling off. We haven't found that that support yet, and I don't see any bottoming patterns in here. So I think more sideways to lower. Fission, again, the momentum is down. Even though we have, a, we have an update today, we'll see what happens. Support is at 55 cents. Pierpoint Uranium, it looks better. I mean... We're contracting, but where the opening and closing prices are equaling each other out, it's slowing the momentum down, and we may base out a little bit longer. Standard uranium looks like we're testing this 25, 24 cent area. 23 has got a lot of good support underneath it. So I think we're probably going to kind of bounce sideways for a little bit before heading up. In Sky Harbor, man. We came up, we came up. I think this is going to head lower. Uh, and if you draw the pattern in here, what's, what's going on and what I see is a contraction in the pattern uh, that is ascending here. It looks something like that. And usually when you see this kind of ball up, it could break to the downside. Doesn't mean it will, but statistical probability, you get this huge sell off. It fights its way up and it just doesn't have the steam. It loses steam. That's why it is contracting in this pattern. And then it falls out and goes to the downside. But it could shoot higher and move on up because we do have financial players playing with the physical uranium price. But looking at the chart, I would say it's probably going to head a little bit lower for a little while longer. Consolidate sideways to lower. Uh, and can Alaska again it looks like we're trying to slow the momentum, but it, I think it still needs a little bit more time basing out consolidating uh base load uh why is it up twenty five percent today uh it's because they made a discovery uh base load is one that I like I like James I'll do a separate video on what they uh the news release. Uh, here's ISO Energy. I've been watching this one as well. It still looks like we're basing out a little bit. I think it's got some some time to go, and it could go lower. Very well could. 
Uh, Fission 3.0, again, it's creating this pattern, which is, it, it's basically like a triangle type pattern. And looks something like that. Kind of a flag pattern here. We'll see if it, if it breaks up or down. I would say it most likely up is my guess. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, UEX, I mean, it's looking okay. I, I still think we need a little bit more time to base out, but bullish engulfing, bullish engulfing, two small down days. I think the buyers are trying to take control here. Uh, and I wouldn't be adverse to adding a little bit, you know, in this area for UEXCF, yeah, for myself. Uh, Denison Mines, again, still we got some time to base out a little bit longer, but we are finding some support. Uh, UEC, I think we're finding a little bit of support. You can see this kind of contracting up a little bit. Uh, so it doesn't look doesn't look horrible. Uh, here's URG. Again, we're, we're contracting a little bit in the candlestick sizes, which is good. It means the buyers are equaling the sellers. A little bit of support here. And then we got Uroy. Uroy sold off quite a bit today, so I'd I'd hold off on it. I'd see what it does. Uh, if it can, if 380, 375 can hold, or, or if it's going to come back. Uh, UU, UU, it does look like we're contracting where the opening and closing prices. So when I'm talking about contraction, I'm talking about the candlestick body legs. Uh, what happens is you sell off hard. It, you have an opening and closing price where the candlestick body is massive, like this day here. And then it slows down when the buyers equal the sellers. And it kind of, it's like buying pressure or, or liquid coming out of a jug when it's when it spills over it it rushes out in the beginning and then it slowly equalizes and that is the buyers and sellers equalizing each other at some price point or support level and i'm looking for these price basically at the candlesticks the body lengths to see where we could find some support and we're trying to find support bannerman i, I still think we're gonna go sideways lower to sideways as we find some support. And usually it takes a little bit of time to do this. It doesn't just go down and then V bottom in, in seconds. Usually it, it kind of bounces. And then and then we go. So if you look back here, we did lots of lots of bouncing all over the place. Popped higher and then we'll bounce uh, sideways probably. And forces metals is moving sideways. Uh, global atomic again. I think we're we've got some time here where we're going to bounce sideways for a little bit before moving on up. Goviax is doing the same thing. A little bit of sell off, but more more sideways. Probably twenty eight cents here. Uh, we have Paladin Energy selling off here, fifty five cents. It's it's contracting. It looks like it's trying to find a bottom here. Uh, we've got Laramide, and Laramide looks, I mean, it's its fighting back and forth. Uh, we could see it move on higher, but usually it, 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 usually it consolidates for a little while before moving on up. Uh, here's International Consolidated Uranium. Again, we, it looks like we've got this little pattern here. And here's, uh, is that a pattern? I mean, that's the pattern there that we, that we have. It's a little like pennant formation, and it could it could pop to the upside here at any second. It could also break to the downside. Usually, a flag pattern breaks. It, it comes into the pattern, and then it breaks to the upside. It's a continuation pattern, and you can see flag patterns almost. There, there's a lot of flags, pennant formations, and they could break to the upside uh, on a lot of them. And other ones like this one looks like it wants to head lower. Uh, because it it kind of like does like almost double top and you get these big sell-offs at thirty nine forty dollars where it could come lower it it could um pen m f looking at this guy i mean it's gonna consolidate sideways is what I would say on all these lower to sideways needs to find a bottom and consolidate and bounce off it a couple times. This one looks pretty good I mean it's coming down and it's starting to to bounce at eight cents and find a a bottom it looks like uh, form energy metals uh, it looks like it's trying to find a bottom 34 cents is that bottom maybe 
Uh, Blue Sky Uranium. Yeah, it's got good support at 28 cents, and that's what we're sitting at right now. So it doesn't look horrible. Uh, and here's Mega Uranium. I haven't talked about this one much, but it's got some support up here at 27 or 6 cents or wherever it's at. Looks like it's trying to find some support. Overall, though, I mean, the, the, these, these are difficult to read, and, and it looks like we're consult contracting and trying to find the, a place to, to rest. And we're still find, trying to find our footing on where that support level is. We're, we're sticking our feet down there, and some, some of them are punching down lower. Uh, others are trying to, it's like they're finding their footing very slowly at some uh, support level. And if you guys have a big long-term perspective here, I mean, I, in some of these companies, I would not be adverse to buying it. I, I would, I would pick some up. I mean, it's, they don't look too bad. I, do we still, could we still have some downside? Yes, we could. Uh, so that's where I take my cost, do, you know, dollar cost averaging in. I cost average in a little bit over the next three, four, five, six days or week or two weeks, uh, and then get your shares. Uh, and that's how I do it. And, and the reason I'm cost average in is because it reduces your risk. Uh, if there's a bunch of volatility here, it reduces your risk. And if you have zero dollars to buy stocks, then you cost average in. If it costs you money, then you're going to have to be a little bit more strategic with your buying uh, because it's going to cost you per transaction. But for me, it doesn't cost me any money for the majority of these companies. So I cost average in. And I just sprinkle. I sprinkle in a little bit. It's 100 bucks here, 100 bucks there, 100 bucks here. And I just keep buying it. And if I think something's low and it looks like it wants to, to move on up, maybe I'll, you know, do a triple sprinkle, a, tr a triple espresso shot. Uh, but overall, I mean, uranium, I think it's going to do incredibly well. You know, look, look at the overall market. We, we have a stronger dollar. We've got the 10-year moving higher. But we have energy that looks pretty strong, uh, energy being oil and natural gas. So it doesn't look too bad. And I wouldn't be... You know, I, I might sprinkle some money in my, my next paycheck or something and and pick up some more shares of, of what I think are some of the best deals uh, in the uranium space. Uh, and, and what I'm light in is some of the explorers outside of a few that I overweighted. I might add and spread out a little bit more in some of the explorers. So that, that might be one of my strategies coming up just to, just to make sure I've got enough in, in the exploration if, if somebody hits something big. Uh, and Baselow did find some. So uh, I'll, I'll report on that in another video and get you guys the update on uh, base load. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.